Half Machine, Half Ruthless Warrior, all Mighty Max Horrorhead. I've got 10 of these in a lot and I've been really keen to check them all out. We're halfway through so be sure to check out the previous reviews afterwards if you're a fan of these guys. But right now we have Mighty Max Battle Skull Warrior. I am a big fan of the cyborg look, especially the actual cyborg side with the metal implements and the pieces. There is some good detail in here. I mean, they're not going to make Skull Warrior an attractive fellow, but we got a pretty cool looking head with a few hints at what we might find inside, paying close attention to that big ugly eye. So opening it up, it's a pretty loose set, so it's not really packed in, but we do get a pretty imposing bounty hunter, a Mighty Max figure, as well as a vehicle for the Skull Warrior to cruise around on. Inside the playset, we get the Skull Warrior's den, a bit like a home office for a bounty hunter. I like how the details, especially the cyborg attachments around the eye, continue onto the inside of the playset. We've got some homely details like a window and some dismantled robot parts scattered on the floor. I think the real appeal with this set is with the figures. Skull Warrior looks good. There's a few finer paint details on the figure and he gets the hoverboard, the space surfer vehicle, that has a few good sculpted details as well. So for the story here, Mighty Max is finally going up against a battle-hardened bounty hunter. I feel like Max gets off pretty easily usually. Most of the bad guys seem to be defeated by either hitting them or moving out of the way, but dropped straight into the middle of his lair, Max has to work hard to grab the space surfer, unbalancing the skull warrior and causing him to fall to his doom. Mighty Max outwits yet another villain. A lot of the horror heads I've snagged in this lot came with their very own comic strips from the backing card, so I'll be sure to throw this up on the website along with a few higher resolution images, but for now, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming reviews. Next time, we're going to tackle an enemy that's a little bit less lively, so cheers and tune in soon. Thanks, guys. Chip, chip.